Yo, what's up, DC IKZ Nation, and what an amazing evening today is. Wednesday, the 27th, the year 2023, the year of our Lord, the year of redigging and reprocessing. And we're still wishing you a Merry, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year because we're in that mood celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we hope that you're having a good time wherever you are watching us from either you're at home or Ukushago in the up country or you're in your holiday destination still celebrating the season we want to welcome you to our midweek service better known as the times of refreshing and you know how we do it right here at DC IKZ make sure that you copy the link to this service make sure that you host a watch party so when you copy that link share it with as many people as possible if you're catching us from home and you're with your family friends you're with your relatives make sure that you join them together together so that we get to fellowship together in the presence of the Lord. Without further ado, we will get right into the service. Father, we bless your whole name. We want to thank you for allowing us to gather in your name, O oh God. As we enter into your presence, Lord, as we get to hear from you, Heavenly Father, we ask that you will take your place. We ask of you, Jesus, that you will take your place in our lives, in our hearts, O oh God. We lift up your name and we bless you because of who you are in our lives. Take all the glory, take all the praise, take all the honor, O oh God. You deserve it all. There is none that compares to you, none compares to your power, O oh God. And even during this season, Heavenly Father, we ask, O oh God, that as we celebrate your birth, Heavenly Father, that we will not just celebrate, we will not just make merry, eat, Heavenly Father, and make joy, but the most important thing we want to do, Heavenly Father, is to know you as our Lord and Savior, is to recognize you as the Lord of Lords, as the, as the king of kings heavenly father that is what we want to do in this season heavenly father and even for those of us who have not known you as lord and king we ask of you during this season holy spirit may you may you reach to them may you reach out to our friends and family who have not yet known you in the mighty name of jesus christ we ask all this trusting and believing in your holy name amen and amen and amen have a blessed time make sure that you're staying tuned god bless you to just wherever you are if you can take some time and just lift up your voice and worship the name of Jesus he's worthy he's the reason of this season we still continue to thank him because he came thank him because he showed up that the king did not stand us up he came he's in our midst he loves us and he has a perfect plan for you and for your family for this nation we can trust him today father we thank you because you have come in power and in strength we thank you because today we are not in suspense about what your bath looks like or what the days after your bath looks like. Even though we commemorate this Christmas season, we are not in suspense. We know that, Lord Jesus, you have already defeated and conquered the grave. That right now, from where we are standing, we get to celebrate the whole of you. We know that the Lord that has come to us is not just the baby in the manger. He's the powerful God that has overcome death, hell, and the grave the mighty and strong God. And so we lean on you today. You are our strength. You are the one we look up to. You are the one that holds us together. You are our rock and our shield. You are our hope and our stay. We find strength in you, Lord Jesus. We find strength in you. You are our great support, Lord Jesus. Our great support, regardless of what happens around us, you are our great support. Because the Lord is on our side, we shall not be greatly we say like this time is today, because the Lord is constantly and ever by our sides, we shall not be greatly moved. So we lift your name, we glorify. Sheikh Atara Beriande Reboza, Libro Koturupo Zima Shatalabaz, Ripa Katalabaz, Yira Ramande Reboza. Can somebody just acknowledge the God your support? God our support, His name is Yahweh. We lean on Him, we lean on Him. Whatever season you're going through, you can lean on him today. You can lean on him. 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 You can lean on his everlasting hand. You can lean on his everlasting hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ya 
Jehovah God and this day my God we just want to give you praise we want to give you honor Jesus we want to exalt your precious name we come to you decreeing and declaring Lord you've been our shalom when things were in turmoil in 2023 you have been Jehovah Shalom you have been our provider Jehovah Jireh 
And Lord, when the economy looked like things were going to crumble, you were for us, Jireh. You became for us provider, God. And we come before you to thank you. You have been Emmanuel to us, O God. Our hearts are so grateful, King of Kings, this day. We worship you, Jehovah God. We give you praise and we give you honor. You have been good and we know you are still good and you will be good, our Father. Because goodness and faithfulness has been your nature, O God. And so we want to just thank you, Lord. We want to give you praise, our Father. Indeed, you've been good, our God. Receive praises, God. Hallelujah. All my life, you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will see of the goodness of God Oh, my is running after is running after me your goodness is running after is running after me your goodness your goodness is running after is running after your goodness Lord your goodness is running after it's running after me. Oh, your goodness your goodness is running after it's running after me. your goodness Lord your goodness is running after it's running after your goodness Jesus your goodness it's running after, it's running after me. It's running after my family. Your goodness is running after, it's running after, it's running after this church. Your goodness is running after, it's running after. Your goodness is running. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me In my life lay down I surrender I give you everything Your goodness is running after It's running after me oh, Your goodness is running Your goodness is running after It's running after running after us, running after our families, Lord. Jehovah God, we have seen your favor. We have seen your faithfulness, God. Our hearts are so grateful today. Our hearts magnify your name, Jesus. You have been good to us. You have been good to us, Lord. You have been good to us, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, and we bless your name. Your sovereign Jesus, your sovereign Lord, we can only declare that we love you 
we can only declare that Lord we have always fallen in love with you and we give you praise Jesus Lord take over this service today in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah we are so grateful so grateful we want to thank the Lord for the worship team here today thank you so so much may the Lord bless you and uh, we want to welcome all of you our online viewers uh, this 27th day of December 2023 the Lord has been good and we want to thank him because his goodness has constantly been running after us and I want to believe you've had a good Christmas, good celebrations. And if you're still up country or wherever you're watching us from this day, we want to just uh, invite you. You can invite all the people that you are with there so that together we can get to do church today in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to our midweek service. This is Deliverance Church International Kasarani Zimmerman. And we are glad that you can tune in to watch um, the service with us today. We are indeed very, very grateful. And we want to dive right into the word right now. Right into the word right now. We know that we are left with um, just four days for the year to come to an end. And we are so grateful because God has provided for us. God has been our portion in the land of the living. God has been good to us. And this is the reason we can come here with grateful hearts today. And so today I'd like us to, I'd like to invite us to open the book of Judges chapter 1. We are looking at Judges chapter 1 from verse 1 to 7. And our topic today, even as we look into crossing into the year 2024, our topic today is reclaiming our position. I do not know what the enemy or where the enemy has placed you right now as we are talking. We may not know what the enemy has taken you through in the year of 2023. But what we are saying is that we have to reclaim our position. We are reclaiming our position. So Judges chapter 1 verse 1 to 7. Judges 1, uh-huh. This is what the Bible says. After the death of Joshua, the Israelites asked the Lord, who of us is to go up first to fight against the Canaanites? The Lord answered, Judah shall go up. I have given the land into their hands. The men of Judah then said to the Simeonites, their fellow Israelites, come up with us into the territory allotted to us to fight against the Canaanites. We in turn will go with you into yours. So the Simeonites went with them. When Judah attacked, the Lord gave the Canaanites and Perizzites into their hands and they struck down 10,000 men at Bezek. Underline 10,000 men at Bezek. Verse 5. It was there that they found Adoni Bezek and fought against him, putting to root the Canaanites and Perizzites. Adoni Bezek fled, but they chased him and caught him and cut off his thumbs and big toes. Then Adoni Bozek said, 70 kings with their thumbs and big toes cut off have picked up scraps under my table. Now God has paid me back for what I did to them. They brought him to Jerusalem and he died there. He died there. <coughs> Praise the Lord, um, child of God. The Bible here tells us of a story. If you go back to the book of Joshua chapter 24, which is the chapter before Judges chapter 1, we are being told about Joshua who up to that time was the leader of Israel. And he comes to a point where he, he calls all the Israelites together and he gives them an option whether they are going to serve God or they are going to serve the other gods. And at some point he is saying that as for him and his house, he was going to serve the Lord. Then a few 
few verses there on later in chapter 24, the Bible says that Joshua rested with his fathers. In other words, he passed on. And by the time he was passing on, the Israelites had not yet conquered all the territories that they needed to have conquered. And so that is the backdrop of the story that we are reading here today. And so the Bible says, if we can be given uh, verse 1 again, the Bible says that the Israelites congregated together and they were asking themselves, this is what they said after the death of Joshua, the Israelites asked the Lord, who of us is to go up first to fight against the Canaanites? In other words, they were looking around and they were not seeing anybody who was fit to be king enough, who was fit to be a leader, who could have led them to be able to fight the Canaanites. Now, if you read Joshua chapter 1, the Bible says that after Moses' death, the Lord appeared to Joshua and is telling Joshua that Moses, my servant, is dead. Now take over. In other words, Moses had already prepared Joshua and Joshua was king enough, was able to lead the Israelites into the promised land and was able to lead the Israelites to conquer the land that they had been given of the Lord. But now Joshua is dead and they are asking each other until they got to a point where they went to ask the Lord, who is going to go up and help us conquer the Israelites? And the Lord, God is good, we bless the Lord. The Lord answered them and told them, Judah will need to go fast. Judah will need to go fast. And so even as they were now going to conquer the Canaanites, they had already been given a word by the Lord that Judah was to go and conquer fast. Now there are times when we go through issues and we keep asking ourselves, who is going to go up first to help us conquer the challenges, to help us conquer the issues that we are going to go through? And I want to bring it to you saying today that the Lord is saying, let Judah go up first. Judah means praise. Judah means praise. In other words, there are certain challenges that we may be going through that does not need murmuring because again, murmuring and complaining cannot help us conquer territories. There are challenges that we are going through that only need us to arise above our circumstances and begin praising the name of the Lord because when we praise, what that means is that Judah is going first. Praise is going ahead of us. And the Bible says that when we praise, the Lord dwells in the praises of, the, of his people, praise the Lord. And so I want to bring it to you that irrespective of the issues that you have gone through in the year of 2023, as we get into the year 2024, all that you would allow Judah to go first, all that you would allow praise to go first, because that is the only way we are going to conquer the, the territories and the way that we are going to reclaim our position. The story that we have read is a story of now as the, after Judah had been told now to take position and go fast, he gets into the arena and he begins fighting. And in the process of fighting, the Bible says that they were able the, the people of Judah together with the Simeonites, they were able to conquer and slay 10,000 of their enemies. And in the process of them running after their enemies, they came across a king whose name was Adoni Bezek. Adoni Bezek, who was still occupying the territory that was meant to be theirs. They would, had already been promised a promised land and now they were there but there was still an occupant in that particular region whose name was Adoni Bezek. And saints, when we look at the meaning of Adoni Bezek, Adoni means Lord. And so Adoni Bezek means Lord of Bezek. Bezek was an area, but Bezek was an area which also had a meaning. The meaning of Bezek is uh, in chains or scattering. And so this Adoni Bezek was a king of an area where people were constantly put in chains. People were constantly being scattered. There was nothing good. People were constantly in bondage. People were constantly not able to put things together. And now they have reached that place and the Bible says that they pursued. When Adoni Bezek saw them, they start, he started running away. And as he was running away, they chased after him. They caught up with him. And after catching up with him, they did not not just uh, kill him instantly, but the Bible says that they cut his thumb and his big, big toe, Bonas was a few. Way. 
So the Israelites or the Judah people from Judah cut off the thumbs of Adoni Bezek and they cut the toes of Adoni Bezek. And while they were still there, this man was in pain and agonizing. The man said something that was very profound. He said that whatever he had been doing to other kings had now caught up with him. Originally, he had already chopped off the thumbs of 70 kings, the big toes of 70 kings, and he had made sure that he was keeping them under his table so that they were only feeding on the things or the scraps that were falling under the table. They were hardly having enough. They were only being able to feed from under the table of Adoni Bezek. Saints, I want to bring it to you. Maybe the enemy has come during the year of 2023 or in the past years and what he has done with you my brother my sister is that he cut off your thumb he cut off your big toe and he made sure that you are feeding on mainly the, the, the scraps that were falling down from under his table in other words you could not be lifted up anymore as it is written in the uh, in, in verse 17 you could not be able to feed anymore or to get that which you deserve as a child of God but you could only get the scraps today I've come to bring good news to you this 27th day of December I've come to bring good news to you and what is this good news that I've come to bring I've come to call you out of the places out of the under the table I've come to call you from that place where you are not supposed to be I've come to call you out there in the name of Jesus Christ this night. I've come to call you out to a higher place where you were supposed to be seated. Remember the Bible says that he has seated us with Christ in heavenly places. You are not supposed to be under the table of the enemy whatsoever. You are not supposed to be feeding from the scrap. You are supposed to be seated in heavenly places where Christ Jesus is seated. And the Bible Father tells us in the book of Ephesians that when we are seated with Christ in heavenly places we have way above far above principalities far above rulers far above powers far above all those things that have been trying to take control of our lives and so today I've come to call you from that place that was not meant to be your place my brother my sister that place under the table of the enemy was not meant to be your place child of God it is time to arise and get out of that place so that you can re reclaim your position and how are you going to reclaim your position you will reclaim by po your position by claiming back your samba and by claiming back your big toe praise the name of the Lord Praise the name of Jesus Christ. It is time to reclaim our thumb. Now, what is the use of a thumb? When you do not have a thumb, it becomes very difficult to grip anything because it's the thumb that assists us to have a grip. When you're going to hold a pen you want to write, you have to use your thumb. When you want to hold a cup, you must use your thumb. That thumb is what causes you to have a grip of anything. And spiritually, when your thumb has been caught, cut off, that means that there are certain spiritual blessings that you cannot have a grip on properly you cannot hold it properly and so the enemy has made sure that he has cut off your thumb so that the blessings that you were meant to have in the year 2023 you could not hold on to it you could not have a grip of it but today I've come to bring you good news that you can decide today to chop the thumb of the enemy to chop the big toe of the enemy and reclaim your thumb one more time in the name of Jesus Christ in the Bible days when people used to go to war they would need the thumb so that they could be able to shoot the arrows properly and the enemy knows that we are in a battlefield so what he wants to do is to ensure that your spiritual thumb has been cut off so that you are not able to pull the arrow properly and you are not able to shoot the enemy properly no 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 my brother my sister it is time to reclaim our thumb because we are going to wage war in the heavenlies we are going to wage war in the second 
second heavens and our thumbs must grow in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord is saying that you're not going to fight that battle on your own. He is saying that I am here, right here as your Lord. I am right here as your big brother. I am right here ready to return the thumb to you so that you can be able to have a grip of the blessings that I released over to you and so that you can be able to put the enemy where he belongs in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember the Bible says that the enemy is supposed to be under our feet. We cannot afford to fit under his table whatsoever. He is supposed to be under our feet and so today we've come to reclaim our position. We've come to reclaim our position at the table and put the enemy under our feet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you have been struggling. Yes, I could have been struggling. Yes, our families are struggling, but we are saying enough is enough because we are reclaiming our thumb today, tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. And so my brother, my sister, you can tell yourself today that I'm reclaiming my position. You can tell yourself today I am getting out from under the table of the enemy. You can tell yourself today I am not going to continue eating of the scrap that the enemy is giving me in droplets because the Lord has already promised that he has given us everything. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3, uh, chapter 1 and verse 3, that he has blessed us, God has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. Every spiritual blessing has been given to us. We cannot afford to get under the table and be eating scrap that was not meant for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And so today we are saying Adoni Bezek that has been sitting on us has to let us go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Secondly, we need to realize that when you do not have your big toe, you can never walk fast. You will constantly be tiptoeing because your toe is able to give you balance as it were as a human being physically. When your big toe is not there, when it has been chopped off like what the kings, uh, what Adoni Bezek had done to the kings, when your big toe has been chopped off, you can never run with speed. But we are saying that as we get into 2024, speed is being restored to us because we are reclaiming our big toe. Speed is being restored to us. We can no longer walk slowly. And whatever the enemy has caused us not to get, the delays that the enemy has caused us to have in our lives, we are decreeing and declaring that we are beginning to move with speed in Jesus' name. We are beginning to move with speed in Jesus' name. Child of God, how does the enemy chop our big toes? How does the enemy chop our thumbs? Most of the time, he brings discouragement in our lives. Yes, you can, you can come to a point where you're saying, there is no need of me working hard because after all, the taxes are very high. After all, the economy is not working well for me. And so what he does, he brings discouragement to your way. He can bring emotional imbalance in your way until you start hearing even Christians currently are getting mentally ill why because the enemy knows that when we are mentally ill it's like our thumbs have been chopped it's like our big toes have been chopped we cannot move with speed and we cannot detect when it is the one bringing us down so we cannot even fight with him today I decree and declare that we are getting from under the table, under the table of mental illness, under the table of discouragement, we are getting out of that place and we are crossing to 2024 when we have all our faculties, all our thumbs, all our fingers and all our toes intact. We are getting with speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We need to understand that in the olden days, in the olden days, when you were a prisoner of war, they would chop your thumbs, they would chop your big toes, 
and even worse still, there were people whom they would gorge out their eyes like they did the eyes of Samson of old. His eyes were gorged out by Delilah and her people. Why were the eyes gorged out? They were gorged out so that his vision would not be clear. He would not be able to see into the future. And remember the Bible says in the book of Genesis, I think it's chapter 13, where the Bible says God was speaking to to Abraham and he's telling Abraham as far as your eyes can see I'm going to give you as a, an inheritance and so the enemy knows that if your vision is sharp enough then you can still be able to pursue and what he does is he decides that your eyes are going to be gorged out by the enemy until you cannot see we can only see up up to a very small level why because maybe discouragement has set in but child of god today i've come to tell you this one thing that we are reclaiming our eyesight we are reclaiming our thumbs we are reclaiming our big toes because we must be visionary in the year 20 24 we must be able to have a grip of the blessing that the lord is releasing because that year we are going to be released in the mighty name of jesus christ even as we thresh the mountains we will be able to grip and we need our thumbs and so we are not crossing the year 20 to 2024 minus our thumbs we are not crossing the year uh, into 2024 minus our ears our eyes sorry we are not crossing into the year 20, 2024 minus our big toes we must have good vision and we must be able to grip the blessing as it comes yet again we must move with speed like Elijah of old moved with speed I decree and declare today child of God that in your life there will be speed God is going to release the grace of speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that where you have lagged behind where you have stagnated where you have delayed God is restoring your big toes tonight in the name of Jesus Christ and you will begin moving with speed in the name of Jesus Christ yes you will begin moving with speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and so if I were you I'd just rise up and tell the Lord my thumbs are coming back my toes are coming back and my eye is being restored in Jesus name I don't know how many of us physically have ever looked at our thumbs and told the Lord I want to thank you for my thumb today we take it for granted or I want to thank you for my big toe today we will thank God for many things that are out there but we rarely thank God for it now spiritually it is a season that we are saying God restore it and we are thanking you Lord for even causing us to have our thumbs in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus the enemy has a strategy in the current dispensation he has a strategy and some of us who are watching tonight are struggling with stuff we are struggling we have been moving on the same spot ear in ear out month in month out we have been moving in the same spot but tonight tonight i'm here to decree and declare that just the good news that i said i've come to call you out of stagnation I've come to call your marriage out of trouble. I've come to call your children out of trouble. I've come to call your finances out of trouble. And I've come to call you as a brother and as a sister out of that place where you have thought it is okay. You know, there are times when you can tie up, you can tie up a goat until they are used to being in the same spot all their lives all their lives until they start imagining this is the normal it is the normal way of life and some of us the enemy has actually tied us under the table until we have resigned to the fact that this could be the normal way we eat in bits and pieces and we are saying this is the normal way our children are getting lost in drugs and we are saying it is the normal way after all their uncles also got lost in drugs our marriages are separating and we are beginning to say this is the normal way no 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 it is not the normal way 
I'm calling you out to have a warrior-like spirit so that you can say today, I am chasing after Adoni Bezek. I am chasing after him. Do not let him get lost. I am chasing after him. And as I chase after him, I am chasing as I praise my God. I am chasing as I raise a praise. I am chasing as Judah goes first. And I am going to get a hold of him. I am going to chop his thumb. And I am going to chop the big toes in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to remind you today that greatness was already deposited in you. Greatness was deposited in you. It is not something you're going to look for outside there. It is not something that comes because you have degrees from school. It is not something that comes because your father has left an inheritance or a big inheritance for you. Greatness is given by our Lord. Greatness is given by God. And it was already deposited inside of you. And because it's inside of you, today we are decreeing and declaring that whatever it is that has been hindering you from becoming great, that is what we are dealing with today. We are dealing with Adoni Bazek because we are claiming our position in the Lord. You also need to realize that you're strong in the Lord. You are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. But for you to be able to manifest that strength, for you to be able to manifest that power, it will be necessary for you to claim back your thumb. And like I normally say, the devil does not know the language of softness. It has to be violence. The Bible says that since the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom suffers violence. And the violent will take it by force. And so you will not go to the enemy and tell him, please give me back the thumb. No, we are telling him we have come. And what we want is the thumb. Can I have it in Jesus' name? Can I have it in the name of Jesus? And so do not resign to fate. Do not resign to fate. The 70 kings that scripture talks of, in Judges chapter 1, verse 5, we can read that again. Judges chapter 1, verse 5, the 70 kings that we are told about. Uh -huh. It was there that they found Adoni Bezek and fought against him, putting to root the Canaanites and Perizzites. Verse 6. Verse 6. Adoni Bezek fled, but they chased him and caught him and cut off his thumbs and big toes. 7. Hallelujah. Then Adoni Bezek said, 70 kings with their thumbs and big toes cut off have picked up scraps under my table. In other words, these kings, after their thumbs were cut, their toes were cut, they resigned to fate and they felt comfortable under the table of Adoni Bezek. Today, I want to announce to you, child of God, we are not going to be comfortable under the table of the enemy. We are coming out one after the other tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. We are coming out into our freedom. We are coming out into our prosperity. We are coming out and none of us, none of us at the sound of my voice is going to be comfortable under the table of Adoni Bezek. We must be willing to claim our thumbs today by allowing Judah to go ahead. We cannot resign to being crampy under the enemy's table. And so even as we get to finish, as I just wind up today, I want you to rise up and may the Lord release holy anger into your life and may you begin pursuing Adoni Bazek so that you can get back your thumb and so that you can be able to get back your toe so that you can be able to get back your grip of the Lord's blessings there are people who normally say I normally get a job and just when I'm about to get promoted the job disappears I'm normally in a relationship when I'm about to get married, the relationship is gone. The almost there syndrome. Why? Because you do not have the thumb that can hold the grip of the blessings. Today, I decree and declare that the thumbs are being restored back. 
and we will be able to have a grip for the blessings that the Lord is giving to us. There are those of us who are saying, I've been here for so long. I have been in this particular position for so long. I have stagnated, I have delayed. I have come to decree and declare today that because the Lord Jesus Christ has given us power and authority, the Lord is releasing the grace of divine speed, the grace of speed into your life. He is releasing it into your life and you will begin moving with speed. I announce that you've been around that mountain for too long. It's time to break camp and get to the next place where the Lord wants you to be. And your destiny definitely and your expectations will not be cut short. I want us to pray together today in the name of the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, we are grateful. Grateful, Lord, because you've made us aware of what the enemy has been doing. And Lord, tonight we decree and declare that we are not going to sit under the table of Adoni Bazek. We are not going to sit under the table of the enemy. We can no longer continue collecting scraps from under the table. Lord, we are rising up today in the mighty name of Jesus. We are rising up today in the power of your might. And we want to cast out every powers that have been hindering our progress in Jesus' name. We chop off the toes of Adoni Bazek. We chop off the thumb of Adoni Bazek. He cannot hold us captive anymore. We decree and declare that his grip has been loosened in the name of Jesus. And as we get into 2024, we are God getting there when we are people of freedom. We are getting there with divine speed. We are getting there with a, 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 a hand that is able to hold the blessing that you're releasing our way. And so I want to thank you for my brothers, my sisters who have been under the sound of my voice. I decree and declare that discouragement will not hold them captive, Lord. I decree and declare that Jehovah God, despair will not be their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Be exalted and be magnified today because we pray this in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And may the Lord bless you. Have a happy, happy new year. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We want to bless the Lord for our pastor Millicent and that amazing word. And also for those of us who were tuned in today's service. And you know, just as we do it, um, I know we're gathered at home, but I want us to speak a blessing to our speaker of today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for your servant, Reverend Millicent Counter, oh God, and even for the grace that you've put upon her life, oh God, just to continue ministering to your people, oh God. Father, we pray that you will continue to bless her, Heavenly Father, that as she ministers to your people, as she serves you, oh God, that she will continue to serve you, Heavenly Father, from a point of relation with you, oh God that you will continue refreshing her heavenly father each and every single day of her life in the name of Jesus. We speak a fresh fire upon her ministration, O oh God. We speak a fresh grace, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak a blessing, O oh God, upon her family, O oh God, and everything that concerns her in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you will continue using her, O oh God, for your kingdom and to the glory and honor of your name. We love and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen, amen, amen. What a word was that? What a word. We want to say that we are claiming back our thumbs and we are intentionally refusing to stay under the table of the enemy. I pray that that is your prayer and we will make sure that we take our place in the kingdom of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. All right, on to a couple of announcements that are coming to us right about now. So this Sunday, this Sunday, the 31st of December, we will all be gathering at the main campus, all right? We'll be having only one service. So the people who fellowship at the Shiloh Worship Center, we will all be gathering at the DCIKZ main campus and the service will be starting at 10 a.m. all the way to 12 p.m. All right, 10 a.m. all the way to 12 p.m. at the DCIKZ main 
campus all right so make sure that you take note of that we'll be having only one service right here at the dcikz main campus and thereafter in the evening we will be having the cross over kesha all right the crossover kesha that will be happening also right here at the dcikz main campus from 10 p.m all the way to 4 p.m so we will all gather here as we get to usher in the year 2024 all right and also as we get to hear um the word of the year from our bishop bishop dr jimmy kimani so i want to believe that we will all gather here also make sure that you come on time because you know how we do it right here we make sure that it's a jesus party and we'll be filling up this place with the warmth of the lord i'm sure the lord will be also here just to minister to each and every one of us so make sure that you note that as well and the following week on wednesday the third of january the year 2024 we will be having the midweek service online all right we will not be gathering in any of our campuses we will all gather online for the midweek service better known as the times of refreshing that starts from 6 30 all the way to 8 p.m so get to get note of that so we'll be live on facebook and on youtube so we'll be there online in jesus name that is it from our announcements we also want to um, enter into a moment of giving and the details are on the screen and the details of the giving are 864231 that is our pay bill number 864231 and the account number being the purpose of your giving so either you're giving tithe you're giving a thanksgiving or an offering you can get to indicate that on the account number in jesus mighty name right we want to give a shout out to each and every one of you who joined us online and who made sure that you are tuned in from the beginning to the end even if you joined in the middle of the service we bless the lord for you and for filling this online space we are super super excited that you're able to join in and may god continue to bless you and increase you as you continue fellowshipping with us let us give thanks for this service and for the giving as we make this service a wrap father we want to bless your holy name we are grateful jehovah for gathering us together to hear your word and to listen from you oh god father we pray that we are going to take our place in your kingdom father that we are going to rise up that we will refuse, Lord, to stay under the table of the enemy, Lord. That we will take our rightful place, Jesus. Father, we thank you for the gifts and offerings that you've given unto us, Lord. As we give it back to you, Jesus, may you receive it. May it be honorable to you, O oh Lord. May it please you, Jesus. We say thank you for what you continue to do for us, Heavenly Father. And even in this season, Lord, as you continue blessing us, we pray that we will be a blessing to our family, to our friends, oh God, even to strangers, Heavenly Father. May you help us to stretch our hands and just to bless a neighbor, someone who's in need, oh God, because of what you continue to do in our lives, Heavenly Father. We love you and we honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we believe. Amen and amen. Well, that is it from our service and we want to share the words of the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and your family now and forevermore. Amen. My name is Stephen Mwangi Kamau and I have been your host for today. Have a blessed night. See you on Sunday the 31st of December. Blessed night.